therefore for this lab you can provide t12 as your bar diameter at a spacing of 200 millimeters center to center welcome to chevgen academy in this video i'm going to be showing you design of slab according to the Eurocode 2 which is bs en 1992 design of reinforced concrete structures so we are going to be running through the step-by-step -step process of slab design so let's assume you are designing a slab that has a shorter span of four meters and a longer span of six meters so i'm going to be running through you through the step-by-step -step guide starting with step one we need to determine the design parameters all design parameters that are needed for you to simply carry out the design you have to highlight them out so the design parameters are, are listed below the first of them is the fck fck means the characteristic compressive strength of concrete for you to be able to determine this you have to design with a a particular concrete class according to the Euro code you can design concrete up to a con concrete class of C90 slash 105. But in this example, we are going to be using class C20 slash 25 because this is the most practicable class of concrete we have. The C the C means class, the 20 represents the characteristic cylindrical strength. 25 means the characteristic QB strength of concrete. As we all know that concrete can be tested generally using two methods the compressive test and the cubic test well according to the euro code the euro code is de is designed in such a way that we only use the compressive strength of concrete to carry out design then the next parameter is the fyk the fyk stands for the characteristic strength of steel in this class we are assuming a value of 410 megapascal which is the same thing as newton per millimeter square in the euro code you have the privilege of designing with steel strength ranging from 400 to 600 then the next parameter there is b which stands for the width of the slab the width of the slab from the previous slide our slab is four meters by six meters but in design we used to design slab per meter length so in that case, you are going to take the width of our slab to be 1000 millimeters, which is equivalent to 1 meters. The next parameter is height thickness of the slab or height of the slab. This is given as 150 mm is an assumption. Then we have the bar diameter, that is the bar size. We are assuming a diameter of 12 mm. Then we have the D. The D is the effective depth of, con of the concrete slab. It is given as the thickness of the slab minus cover minus half bar diameter. From assumption, HS is 150 mm C, which is cover. Let's assume a cover of 20. This is what we generally use in slab in construction site. Then we have the bar diameter, which is 12 mm divided by 2. So if you do the mathematics, you are going to end up with 150 millimeters minus 20 millimeters minus 12 over 2 which is 6 millimeters this is going to give you 124 millimeters so these are all the design parameters you need in order for you to execute a slab design let's move to the next step step two you need to establish your required bending moment this depends on the kind of slab you are designing if you are designing for a two-way slab you need about four moment to design against if you are designing for a cantilever slab, you need to design for the organ moment of the cantilever slab, which is the main reinforcement. But in a two-way slab, the main reinforcement is about, or the main design moment you have to design against, is about four or six in number. But for the purpose of this tutorial, we are only going to be designing one part of it, which is for two-way slab, we have two moments at the mid span for X and Y x means the shorter span y means the longer span so then we also have moment at the continuous edges in case if your slab is a continuous one so after that so for the purpose of this class we are just going to be designing the first parameter which is mid span along the x axis along the shorter span 
along the shorter span using a moment value of 20.2 as a form of exercise you can also run through the order you can design the remaining moment using the steps i'm going to highlight in this video if this is your first time and you like what i'm teaching kindly the subscribe button turn on the notification i can ask questions in the comment section i'm going to respond to them the next step after this is step three that is to determine your k the k is given by the formula m over bd square fcu m is the moment b is the width of the slab d is the effective depth fcu is the compressive strength of concrete from the previous slide we are we want to design a moment of 20.2 kilonewton meters then you divide it by the width of the slab which is one meter you divide it by effective depth which is 124 millimeter they divide it by the strength of concrete which in this case is 20. if you do the computation you are going to head up with 0 0.066 then you have to compare this k value with your k prime the k prime is given by 0 0.167 based on 15 percent moment redistribution so your k must always be less than or equals to k prime so if your k is less than or equals to k prime as we have in this exam exercise that means there's no need for you to provide compression reinforcement but in case where your k prime is greater than is less than your k then what that means is you need to provide both tension and compression reinforcement you now when moment is acting on the slab it subject the slab to tension at the bottom so but you don't really need to provide compression reinforcement most of the time like in this case that we evaluate now compression reinforcement is not needed but assuming you make your calculation and your k end up greater than k prime it's always better not to provide compression reinforcement in slab because it is more expensive so the the most appropriate approach is to go back and increase the effective depth of your slab you can change your thickness of slab from 150 mm to 175 so moving forward is to determine step four you need to determine the liver harm the liver harm is given by the formula z equals d over 2 1 plus square root of 1 minus 0 0.353 k and the value of this must always be less than or equals to 0 0.95 d so if you do the computation slotting in k value that we obtained in the previous slide you are going to have 0 0.938 z which is equivalent to sorry 0 0.938 d d yeah not z 0 0.0 0 0.938 d so if you slot in in your value of d you are going to head up with 116.3 millimeters but in case when your z is greater than 0 0.95 d then you have to make use of 0 0.95 d as your z then the next step is step 5 is to determine the required area of tension reinforcement I will compare it with the AS minimum and the AX maximum. AS required is given by the formula moment divided by liver harm multiplied by the compressive strength, characteristic strength of T. If you do the computation, substituting your moment 20.2, your Z 116.116, 116 and your characteristic strength of concrete, which is 410, you are going to end up with 490 millimeter square per meter because slab is designed per meter run then the next is to calculate your as provided the as provided is equal to the cross-sectional area of one bar multiplied by the width of the slab divided by the spacing so if you do this the diameter of bar we are using for this course is 12 mm 12 millimeters so if you slot that in using a slab width of one meter because you are designing a slab per meter run if you divide it by a spacing of 200 millimeter square you are going to end up with a area of 565 millimeter square per meter your provided area must always be greater than your required area so in this case that means that for this for this now before we now conclude on the area of reinforcement we we'll provide we need to compare it with the AS minimum. The AS minimum is given by this value 0 0.26 FCTM 
btd divided by fy but this value must always be greater than 0.0013 btd b is the width of the slab d is the effective depth if you substitute that you are going to end up with 175 millimeter square so our a provided area was greater than the as minimum that means you are safe the next thing is to calculate for the maximum area in which the cross section area of concrete can take and this value is given as 0.04 ac ac is the area of concrete is going to be the width of concrete multiplied by thickness taking b as one meter and h which is the thickness of slab as 150 you are going to have 6000 millimeter square per meter your as provided must be greater than the as minimum and also must be less than the as maximum which is what we have in our own case therefore for this slab you can provide t12 has your bar diameter at a spacing of 200 millimeters center to center so this is the reinforcement you are going to provide for the moment we designed for in this video but the design for slab does not end here you actually need to check for serviceability checks which is what we have in step 6 serviceability checks for slabs is actually categorized into two we have this check for deflection and we also have the check for crack for check for deflection you can watch this video in the top right corner of this video eight steps to check for deflection based on the error code i'm sure you love it thank you if you like this give me a thumbs up ask your question in the comment section see you in the next time